Now first of all, thank you so much guys, ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Just in case you are here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press that notification bell so that every time I upload a video here, YouTube will automatically send you the notification. And to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers and supporters who are currently watching this, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much guys for your continued support. So feel very much welcome and I don't take your support for granted. Now I just want us to go straight into our critical analysis for today without wasting much time. And yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, the Azmiu Lomoja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, held his no handshake demonstration rally at Jacaranda Stadium. The turnout was good and I must comment on that one. And therefore, Raila Molo Odinga has promised uh, his Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters that he is actually planning to hold several demonstrations across the country in Mombasa County, in Kakamega County, and also in the larger uh, Okampani region. President William Samuel Ruto, on the other hand, is has stood very firm and from the look of things, President William Samuel Ruto has not been shaken even a little bit by Raila Molodinga's threats and insults. You know, William Samuel Ruto has always maintained that he knows what Raila Molodinga wants by holding these several demonstrations. And what Raila Odinga needs, according to William Samuel Ruto, he only wants the handshake and to be brought in into the ruling government. And William Samuel Ruto has made very clear that in as long as he is the president of the Republic of Kenya, he will not allow that to happen. He is not ready for that handshake with Raila Odinga and he is not very much ready to uh, bring uh, the opposition to the government because he has maintained that the opposition should play the roles of the opposition side and the government, the people who are in the government should play the role and the duties of the government so that they can deliver their projects to the people who elected them uh, to the government. You know, Raila Molodinga was presenting some demands or some ultimatums to President William Samuel Ruto. Number one, Raila Odinga was urging his Azimio Laomoja Alliance supporters to completely reject the 2022 general elections results because according to him, it was not free and fair because uh, his votes were stolen and he was supposed to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. According to his analysis, according to his records and statistics that he has, Will, uh, Uhuru, Raila Molodinga has maintained that he won the previous 2022 general election by around 8.1 million votes against William Samoy Ruto's 5.9 uh, million total votes. And secondly, Raila Odinga has maintained that he does not recognize William Samuel Ruto as the official president of the Republic of Kenya. You know, that is the funniest thing because all the allies of Raila Odinga from the Azimio Lomoja land side, especially the elected leaders, are currently working very closely with William Samuel Ruto so that they can deliver their projects to the people who elected them in their regions or in their places. But their patron, their 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 candidate, their Zimio Lomoja Alliance candidate, is on this side uh, opposing William Samuel Ruto's presidency. And that one, Raila Odinga has demanded that the IEBC data and records concerning the previous 2022 general election must be put on the public dom domain. But the funniest thing is that the results and all the records and the data about the previous 2022 general election are currently on the IEBC public domain. So if you go and Google and log in, you will therefore find all the results there. And fourth, Raila Odinga has maintained that the plan to reconstitute the IEBC uh, new officials should cease immediately. You know, after the previous uh, IEBC uh, officials went for their retirement, led by the chairman of Ule Chabukati. We expect a new leadership to take over uh, the, the IEBC so that, so that they can prepare very much early enough to conduct the 2027 general election. But Raila Odinga has completely opposed that movement. And the fifth point is that Raila Odinga has maintained that the Azimio Lomoja Alliance must reject the UDA politics. And from the look of things, I've not seen 
yet by William Samuel Ruto campaigning because politics are over. And what William Samuel Ruto has been busy doing, he has been very much busy launching several projects across the country, laying out the, the, the foundation, the housing projects and, and the rest. He has not yet campaigned and because politics are over. And the sixth one, Relo Dinga is demanding that all Kenyans must reject the payment of taxes. You know, this is uh, ridiculous. Relo Dinga, knowing that in his entire uh, uh, career in politics, he knows and the leader of of the Republic of Kenya, a national leader, Raila Odinga knows very well that without payment of taxes here by the people of the Republic of Kenya, there will no, there will be no uh, development projects across the country and therefore this country will not move forward. So this is only incitement. And also Raila Odinga has demanded that all the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance regime must resign immediately and so that Raila Odinga can take over as the official president of the Republic of Kenya. You know, I don't see this happening. And also the eighth point, Raila Odinga has maintained that the Azimio Lomoja Alliance uh, side or the opposition side must say no to the UDA and President William Samuel Ruto. Now that William Ruto is not are playing along with all these demands by Raila Molodinga. What do we expect uh, to, for Raila Molodinga to do next? Because it seems that he uh, is already cornered and what he is actually demanding will not be fulfilled and he will not achieve his political objective. In my considered opinion, what I would advise Raila Molodinga as at now, the best thing that he can do is only to surrender, give up and retire from the politics of the Republic of Kenya. This will be the good thing because if Raila Odinga continues with all these demonstrations, then he will be uh, destroying completely his legacy in the Republic of Kenya. Imagine a situation whereby the demonstrations are being, being held, uh, or held across the country and uh, people's properties are being destroyed. And Raila Odinga remember that according to his age, he must only, the time he, he goes for his retirement, he must ensure that all the people will feel the pain of, you know, uh, Raila Odinga exiting from the politics of the Republic of Kenya. But immediately he destroys the people's property. Immediately he carries on with his own mandamano. Then people will get tired of him. Even if he goes for retirement, people will start rejoicing. And remember that that will not be a good thing considering the fact that the Odinga's family are the first families of the Republic of Kenya in the politics of the Republic of Kenya. And also, Raila Molo Odinga has played some important roles in the country. Therefore, him uh, going for his retirement while destroying his legacy will not be a very, very good thing. Number two, I think because of Raila Odinga's age, he should just come out and endorse somebody, somebody like Kanozo Musioka to reward his uh, loyalty. And he actually made this very clear recently. I wish I had that information, a uh, copy of the information, so that I can show you on the screen. Relo Dinga made it very clear that if he will uh, endorse somebody like Kanozo Musioka, he will do so, but currently he is not ready yet to endorse Kanozo Musioka, but when the right time comes and he must uh, endorse, then he will do so at the right time. And also the third thing, I think uh, Rila Molodinga, maybe he can just uh, opt out from all this demonstration and instead start to prepare himself for the 2027 general election, even though he will still lose. I do not think, let me your thoughts on the comment section below concerning this. Otherwise, I don't have much. Until next time, my name is Jason. But also, please don't forget to support me by subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much and salute.